so this next one is by a u user named Dr. Snake Boy. And it is simply titled Dr. Snake Boy's Doom Level. Hey, Joel, click this, please. The I'm not Zinga. Joel, but... Oh, screw you. <laughs> this map adds some new features to some of the weapons, so I highly recommend you read this to be able to use them more efficiently. Shotgun and super shotgun have begun to smooth their frames. Nothing much changed here. The pistol and the chain gun, however, have been changed significantly. Pistol has been turned into a assault rifle that can fire in spurts. It can also fire in three-round bursts with all fire. Chain gun is a lot faster and stronger than a default chain gun. There's a lot more spread and also it has to wind down after the fire. Good to know. Bazinga. I think we gotta play on bitchin'. Why did he have to use it though? <laughs> I don't wanna be reminded of the Big Bang Theory. I just have to take a swig of my beer. Oh, this is a nice little assault rifle, uh, sprite. Well, the front of it looks a little bit different. Oh, uh, hi, fellow soldier. It's from the 20th anniversary World Tour Duke Nukem 3D. Oh, 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 you mean the sprite. Yeah, I could see that. Hold on. Oh, excuse me. I was trying to make sure I don't seize on the mic. No, not the sprite at Duke said. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. They make him say that in, like... The World Tour Edition. That didn't sound like John St. John at all. <laughs> Holy shit. I would never have guessed that was Duke Nukem. Oh. Thank you. That makes me not want to step on those. He's older and are using different recording equipment. Well, I've seen him like... I've heard him do like recent interviews and shit. He still does the voice work though. I don't know why that sounds so much different outside of the better audio quality. Maybe they didn't pay him enough. I mean, it's this gearbox we're talking about. Might not have had faith in Duke Nukem lately. True. Hey, where'd my buddy go? There you are. Fuck. 
Wait, did I? I didn't. He put an auto save here. Good foresight. Sorry, buddy, I couldn't save you. Also, apparently he forgot how to do the... His, vo his voice he does for fans is still pretty good, even when not paid more than convention appearances or whatnot. I think it is because he has an appreciation for his fans. He likes seeing them a lot. You run into that. He's probably a really good guy to uh, meet in real life. I never knew that he do big, did Big the Cat, though. Oh my god, my heart goes out to him. Oh. They spawned in so late. I didn't fully explore this room yet. I'm saving just in case. I don't know what he's gonna pull here. Oh. Damn, missed opportunity. Uh, Big the Cat is a character that you could play as in Sonic Adventure, and his entire gameplay revolves around fishing. Which, honestly, wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was a, lot, a lousy Sonic character. It wasn't terrible. Um... Like, uh... Yeah, he did have a really stupid voice. It, it kind of sounded like a sleepy voice. It's like... And he, uh, he... His best friend is a frog. That eats a Chaos Emerald. Ah! Uh... up now. Now I'll pick it up. Oh yeah, there's plenty of heal uh, uh, health kits here. Still haven't gotten the yellow key yet. Nope. Oh yeah, he was a he was a simple cat. He was a fat simple cat. Yeah, I know. What band did it... His theme song kind of reminded me of, uh... I think it was Mill and Colin. Which is kind of like a pop-punk band back in the day. It's not them, it just reminds me of that. Up. It's a waste. Where to? Oh. that everything turns red when you go in here. <laughs> Including the imps. 
This is also a really neat effect too, the green fog. say though this is a this is a very hard to describe how I like it but um, I do like this a lot it's like a very reasonably paced mod let's say has some nice effects to it though That's why I can get in there. I think this should be open, though. Yep. Yeah, I like the extra frames in the Super Shotgun. I wonder if he got that from Smooth Doom. I never use Smooth Doom, but then again, I don't really need to. I use a lot of different mods as it is. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll probably pick it up and try it one day, though. Like, I feel like there might be, like, a few instances where I'll just play through, maybe even stream Classic Doom or Doom 2, just so I can stay familiar with the levels. Where haven't I gone yet? This way. Not that way. Damn. Here we are. Ah! Oh. Resurrecting them right in front of me. I thought that was gonna go on forever. Man, why does Joel have to hate, hate Arc Files as much as me? 
It's the worst. You have to change up your gameplay so much when you uh, fight them. I uh, I mean, I like fighting them, but they're all they're they're frustrating. I feel like you have to change up how you approach the section that they're in more than you do with the pain elementals. That's why I think they're they're more annoying to go against than pain elementals. Uh. Uh... Oh. That... I was almost ready to say, alright, this map sucks. <laughs> and then I look behind me. That almost was like... I was almost into fuck this shit territory. Well played though, well played. That was basically, that basically felt like a part in that one level in Doom 2. Is what I think he was trying to reference there. Barrels of Fun I think it's called. But I had the caveat of I didn't know what was going on until I uh, until I just had the ability to turn around. He put an auto save there too, which was another very good idea. I thought he was doing it to be just a major asshole and have you be stuck there for an eternity, but no. That was actually very very clever. I thought those were all gonna open up. Is that where I went? It might have been, and I think you can only do it once. I don't even know how I got there. And I just, it's because I backed up into it, so I didn't see where I was going. Okay. I think he's probably, these doors probably both lead to the same place. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not so much judging them based on the length. Because I realize they only had like a, a limited amount of time to actually make all these. Some of people put out some impressive shit. Though. Like I've had maps that have taken me about an hour, an hour and a half to finish. That's a lot of content. Has a lot of custom content, too. And then there's some people that, like, they were gonna make it anyway, but they decided to, like, release a demo for the contest that I played, which were also, and they were, like, unique takes on the engine. Like, Mono Puzzle was, like, the most recent one that I can remember. I, I want to look for the, see if there's a full version of that now. And I want to play that at some point. <clears throat> I'm assuming there is, because it's been, like, years since this contest. Unless maybe he abandoned the project. <clears throat> Which would be sad, but... I think it is, yeah, because this is the first Doom mapping contest that Joel did. I don't know if I got to it yet. I don't think I did. I feel like that's something I would remember. 
I'm assuming there isn't because Doom Projects, they regularly run into insane delays. Yeah, like, Golden Souls 2 took an eternity. But I'm glad that one got finished. That is my favorite total conversion Doom mod at the moment. For the longest time, uh, Winter's Fury held that. That was a mod that was insanely long, but it didn't feel long. And the level design was superb. I don't think I can hit that. doing his best. Is there, like, something I can actually get on top of here? Probably... F oh, I probably should have done it from up there. Hold on. Oh, I can get back that way. Okay. Yeah, because I need this. There we go. Feeling any of this. Not yet, but I will. What was that? Have you ever watched Tarnsman's streams of Maximum Doom from many years ago? I have not. I've never even heard of Tarnsman. Your audio is a bit low relative to the game. Bazinga! Bazinga! I'll turn. I'll turn the sound down. That's that's probably a little too low. All right, I'll turn the mic up. There we are. That should be a little bit better. Uh, apologies if I uh, if I'm peaking. I don't really know how to fix that. That's good. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna do it. Come over here. Yeah, it can be. Definitely. Fuck. 
speaking of the plasma gun. How that missed me, I don't have a clue. Oh, thank God. I took a bit of a chance with that. <laughs> That's not easy to do, by the way. Kudos to him. He, this one, this is made by someone who's pretty experienced. That's not easy to do either. But from what I heard, anyway, I don't have much personal experience with mapping. Tarnsman is a Doom Mapper who made parts of Adventure of Square. Oh, he's the one that made that. I haven't gotten to that one yet. And other map projects like Back to Center. Oh, he did Back to Center X too. I like that one. That one I've done before. He also did a stream where he played every map in the infamous id Software Shovelware Pack of 1994. I'm going to do that one of these days. Um, Kind of like what I'm doing with this. Uh, I found a, uh, I found a website that has them all on there. I'm gonna stream all the ones that don't have porn in them, because apparently there are some that do. Obviously, if I end up streaming those specific wads, I would not have a Twitch channel anymore. But I might play them in my own time, we'll see. I don't know if this map is going to continue. It seems like it, it seems like there's more than one level, so I just want to make sure. All right, I have 100 health. That should be fine. Ah. Oh, all right, he gives me health anyway. What the hell is that music? Anyway, yeah, one thing with Maximum Doom is that many maps are Doom 1 and Doom 2 conversions using a convertible tool that automatically makes me one demon at random. This is so fucking loud. They have revenants on their head. Or they have revenants as arms. It explains the screaming. end.
is also really, really fucking loud. Holy shit. There we go. Oh, it lasted as long as the song. I think it didn't go on for too I thought it was going to go on for a lot longer. He sucked at it more. True. <laughs> hey, Joel. I hope you enjoyed my map. I had to really rush it towards the end due to life getting in the way, which is the reason it was really short and lacked a lot of detail, but I'm still proud of it, and I hope to see many other interesting and clever and meme maps during the stream. Oh, excuse me. Thanks, Joel, for being awesome, and I hope the best for everyone else who took part in the contest. Bazinga!